I cut out one of my entire friend groups over an uber ride what now from that title alone you probably think why did you do that that's so extra here are my reasons tell me if i was an asshole in this i had this friend group and we had just formed we weren't even friends for longer than a month or two so it was a very new friend group it was me and this one girl let's name her lashes because she always got her lashes done so lashes and me were friends for maybe around two years we went out to this house party and we met another girl let's call her new girl okay so me and lashes we met new girl at the party for some reason lashes leached onto her i was like yo in my brain i don't really fuck with new girl like that like i don't like to open up super soon when it comes to friends these days i don't know like i need to take my time but lashes was obsessed with new girl so i'm like okay like i guess this new girl's in this group like i don't know if i really have a say she starts being in our group we're hanging out a month has gone by i'm starting a new job as a hostess at this really really nice restaurant in my hometown I was starting on a Friday, so my first ever shift. My restaurant turned into sort of a nightlife scene. So I was going to be staying up really, really late. Me and these two other girls had planned to go out after my shift because it was a Friday. You know, like girls, we want to have fun, dance, drink. I don't know, like live it up because we're young. We're in our 20s. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at me and my bad self. We were originally just going to party at my restaurant after my shift shift was done because it did turn into a nightlife place till 3 a.m. So I'm there on my first ever shift and there was some other drama going on with a friend that we were trying to make birthday plans with and the plans were just not hitting like everything kept falling through i tried to be a good friend and like plan a bunch of stuff and surprises but i was getting a lot of shit that can be its own story time so this was happening on the same day i was starting my first shift and we were trying to figure out how to also go out that night too because it's a friday we were going out every friday and saturday like these were the type of girls that i was hanging out with um it was fun but definitely i'm not that type of person i don't like going out every single weekend to just get drunk like I would rather go to a bar and maybe get a drink, not like get wasted, you know? I had found out that my restaurant had a age limit and apparently it was 25 plus. None of us are 25. Like I was the oldest one in the group and I'm 20. I was 22 at the time. I'm 23 now. So I was like, yo, uh, I just found this out. We can't really stay here because for some reason there's a 25 plus limit. We need to find somewhere else to go. Earlier in this day, me and lashes were also hanging out because this shift was very last minute it was sprung on to me super super last minute i was actually supposed to start saturday or sunday but for some reason the dude texted me he's like yo do you want to come in today and i was like sure why not before i had gotten the shift though me and lashes were hanging out because we literally hung out every single day like we were so stuck to each other or every other day we were hanging out like crazy before my shift i was at lashes sister's place to pick up a charger or some shit like that so her sister literally hands her the keys in front of my face and is like if you guys want to stay the night hang out chill at my place i'm gonna be at a concert my entire apartment is free for you guys to use i was like oh my god that's amazing and she literally looked at me and basically said i could stay hang out whatever me and lashes were like okay bet like that's how we're gonna end the night at her sister's place but we ended up finding out new girl was also free so we're like it's a friday night let's hang out whatever when i did get the shift i was like yo we can still hang out i'm gonna be done in time Time to hang out for a friday night because on friday night you stay out really really late so i was like let's still do this i didn't have a car and i can't stay out late at night without a place to stay so it's either i need a car or i need a place to stay since i didn't have a car the next thing i could do is have a place to stay now every single time i look out for my girls i am always a ride i always be the sober designated driver like i'm always the person that makes sure people get to where they need to be and are safe and everything so this is the one time i need my friend to pull through i was like yo like i'm down to hang out whatever her sister said that basically i could stay the night like to my face 
so i was like okay we should be good my shift is happening all this other birthday drama is going on once we had found out that my place for some reason had this age limit we were like okay we can still hang out we just need to go somewhere else they were out somewhere else i think it was like this other club with the rooftop and she was texting me pictures like oh my god Miriam, you're gonna love it so much like it's so lit like definitely your vibe you're gonna love it i was like amazing just confirming though i have a place to stay and then all of a sudden she was like no what are you talking about and i was so dumbfounded like i kind of had this feeling that this girl would do that because she loves having power or control whenever this girl can say no to someone she will go out of her way to say no anytime i had an opinion or idea she would just make up any reason to disagree with me i wasn't just like the only victim of this literally with anyone if you said anything she would just find a way to disagree so i'm so used to this girl saying no immediately firsthand so for me i'm thinking yo i kind of saw this though like i kind of saw like her sister gave her a little bit of power and now she's like gonna use that to her full advantage <laughs> Oh, feel the power. Oh, I could feel it. She did. She did exactly what I thought. She literally was like, Oh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. No, you can't stay. Bitch. You know, you've been my friend for two years almost. You know, I cannot go out and party with my strict ass mother unless I have a car, which I didn't or I can stay the night. So I was like, why the fuck are you still texting me now? As if I can go, like there, I can't, I, I can't, like I cannot go at all. I told her, yo, that's so weird. How's this other girl getting back home then? Cause I would usually be the one driving. She was like, oh no, no, she's staying. I asked my sister, she can stay. And at that point I'm like, that is rude. That is so fucking rude. I was like, what are you talking about right now? So I'm supposed to go home by myself now. Like we're supposed to be a group and she's allowed to stay, but I can't. I just didn't understand where the problem was. I was so shook because I was like, I swear your sister literally invited me over back and now you're just trying to like make me feel weird and like kind of beg for a place to stay and i'm like ma'am i'm not homeless i'm not gonna beg and be like oh my god but your sister said i could and this and this and this and this and i'm like i don't know the fact that you didn't even want to try to ask her for an official answer just also shows me something else you're talking and telling me you want me there but you're not actually doing anything to make me come and then this girl has the audacity to tell me to take an uber back alone she's like you can still come just uber now i don't know about you but that was the most disrespectful bullshit i've ever heard in my life so you're telling me she gets to stay the night and i get to uber and the thing that threw me over the edge was a week into knowing new girl lashes yelled at her like got mad i saw with my own eyes got mad at her for taking an uber alone after a drunk party night she was like that is so unsafe you're never allowed to do this and this was a week after meeting her so the fact that i was her friend for two years and she's telling me now to take an uber when i witnessed her like yelling at this other girl to never do that again that was insane to me that was insane. This was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. Like this girl had done millions of other shady things that I just kept giving her the benefit of the doubt, 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 the benefit of the fucking doubt. But this was the last time I was like, oh my God. I see how you are. You don't give a shit. Like, you really, really don't. And I still wasn't even gonna cut her off after this. I was just like, you know what? If we are real friends, I should be able to communicate my feelings. And I was feeling so sad. I was like basically feeling left out. I was like, oh my God, there's such an easy way for you to make me feel included and you're just not doing it. And I couldn't even take an Uber back home if I wanted to, because like I said, I have a strict mom. She will not allow me. Like that's just point blank period. And that's another thing that I felt was so weird. If your sister didn't want more than one person, if Ubering all of a sudden now wasn't a big deal, why couldn't new girl do it? Because first of all, she's new girl. 
And second of all, she's not living with her parents, able to go in and out whenever she wants. So I also just didn't understand if you really wanted me, you could be like, okay, I will switch things around. You can stay the night. New girl can Uber. Stuff like that. Like if Ubering wasn't that big of a deal. But for me, I wouldn't even want anyone to Uber alone at 2 a.m. after a night of partying and drinking. Like, do you know how easy it is to get taken advantage of? Even if you're fully, fully sober, still, I don't think it's safe to be doing that alone as a female at night, especially at 2 a.m. I thought that was so 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 weird and our neighborhood is very very sketchy like this air whole city is sketchy like, it's known for its crimes it was just very very strange to me because i always pulled through for this girl but she couldn't pull through for me once so i was telling myself if she's my friend like if this girl's my friend i should be able to tell her that she's hurting my feelings like my feelings are kind of hurt by this so i texted her that basically like a paragraph saying and this is all happening on my first shift at work first ever shift at work i found the sliver of time to message her between like things i just texted her this hurts my feelings so much because i had witnessed you telling someone else to not do this and that person is someone you just met so as someone as like a longer friend this really really hurts my feelings and instead of trying to understand where i was coming from this girl took it as more like i was trying to argue or fight with her and she basically was saying i don't know what you're trying to accomplish with this Miriam. i don't understand what the point of all this is and i literally was like bro i'm not trying to accomplish or prove or win anything except an honest friendship she had asked me a question related to the birthday party because a lot of shit was popping off with that too and was typing because i genuinely like didn't know how to respond so i was taking a minute to type to really think about what i was going to say and what she said next sent me over the edge i was here i literally went like i literally jumped I literally was like, I was so fucking triggered. Like never in my life had someone disrespected me like this. She was saying, say yes or no, Miriam. Don't need to type a whole paragraph. Bitch, you stabbed me in the heart and twisted that shit. Like, I can't believe this is happening. Then I bet you weren't expecting that. What? Hi guys, sorry that it got really, really dark. I had to switch location. She basically told me to shut the fuck up without saying the exact words shut the fuck up so i thought that was so disrespectful and i just popped off i was like fuck you for real lashes fuck you for real i popped the fuck off i was just seeing right at that point because they were also going off on me for this other party thing but yeah after that day after trying to communicate not even trying to pick a fight and i saw her reaction and how she started to speak to me i was like okay you want to be a bitch i'll be even bitchier now and i am kind of disappointed in myself for stooping low to her level but i did make it up back with kindness later being like yo I shouldn't have sweared whatever and just tried to end it off nicely for me i'm the type of person if we were friends and i noticed you're like stalking all your ex friends or whatever i don't want your bad juju on me so i just block you like it's not really for me it's more for like you so you don't be obsessed with me because clearly you're obsessed with every other person that's not your friend anymore so i blocked all the like the whole group because i was just like you know what hanging out with you guys is also making me miserable you guys don't do anything i want or when we do hang out it is very like materialistic very like surface level bullshit going out just trying to get male validation and i was just not about it i have too many hobbies that i want to do and they did not want to do anything that i was interested in they only wanted to drink go out party talk about boys and I understand that's like the majority of what girls do but i just didn't want to do it anymore so i also was like i don't think we're even seeing eye to eye on lifestyles because i was this friend's girl for a while and she wasn't like this before so for some reason all of a sudden now she like ramped it up to the max and wanted to go out every single night partying dancing drinking i was just like you know what like i kind of did this already and i'm i don't need to do it more once in a while it's nice to burn some cardio like shake some i don't know like whatever i have but um at the end of the day it just was wasn't for me so yeah sorry if i'm like green i'm in front of the sign because i had to move and the sign is like green i hope you guys 
don't hate it anyways guys that is all for this video please let me know in the comments below if you think i was the asshole for this entire situation if i'm partially the asshole or if they were the assholes leave everything in the comments below i'd love to know your opinions thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers i love 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 all you guys like comment subscribe share this video with a friend and that is all